All right, so before me, we have the ROG Strix G16 and the ROG Strix G18. Now, you can get Intel Core i9 Ultra 275HX versions of these laptops, or you can get the Ryzen versions. And these versions in front of me are the Ryzen versions. So this has the 9955HX H3, sorry, 9955HX3D, which is gonna be the top end gaming spec that money can buy. But the problem is, it only slots up to the RTX 5070 Ti in these chassis. I told Asus this is a huge mistake. They need to uh, put up to the RTX 5090 in these chassis. So if you want to go to the 5090, you got to get the SCAR 18 or SCAR 16. If you want to get the 5080, you can get it with the Strix G18 and G16, but only Intel. If you want to get the Ryzen chips, you can only get up to an RTX 5070 Ti, which just, it's, it's just really crappy product pairing here because I think the top gaming spec GP, uh, CPU this year is going to be the Ryzen uh, 9 9955HX 3D with the RTX 5090 and currently Asus does not offer that in any configuration or laptop and I'm just like what are they thinking it does not make sense what are they doing um, so if you want the 5090 you got to go with Intel currently um, and I really hope that they're going to come out with the Ryzen 9955HX 3D with the 5090 in the future. They've said, they've commented that they might, that they're thinking about it. So post in the comments down below if you think they should. I think they totally, totally should. Now, let's talk a little more about the G16 and the G18. So the Ryzen versions of these machines does not feature vapor chamber or liquid metal. These have heat pipes on these two, on the Ryzen. Um, and they also, I think, let me, we can pull it up. I think we should be able to flip this over and double check that. Let's see. So this should have, interesting, so this has the round barrel plug here. And on the bottom, there is no toolless. It is not toolless. So you have to have Phillips head screwdrivers to be able to get in here. So this is a heat pipe solution without liquid metal. And it just feels like in some ways Asus it's just going to sell these at a cheaper price, partially, you know, with the goal of just undercutting the competition. But I feel like they're not giving the Ryzen chip the same fair treatment that they're giving Intel. And I think that's kind of a travesty. Like, they should be giving the Ryzen chips just as much, like, um, babying and potential premium features as the Ryzen chips. So another difference. Look, in the SCAR 18 and G18, they've got the new... Uh, Windows Hello webcam, 1080p. These are, looks like the old 720p non-Windows Hello webcams in here. And heat pipes and no liquid metal. And you can't get the 5080 or the 5090 GPUs. I feel like AMD got shafted really bad with these laptop GPU options and it kind of pisses me off a little bit. Anyway, let's talk about the chassis a little bit more. Um, so ports on this guy. On the left, we have two USB-C's, HDMI 2.1, Ethernet facing up, and a barrel plug, round barrel plug input on the left. On the right, we have two USB-A 3.2's. So very similar ports, identical ports to the last year's G18. On the G16, we should have the exact same ports, two USB-A's on the right. On the left, headphone port, two USB-C's, HDMI 2.1, Ethernet, and a power adapter port. So the exact same ports, on both laptops, but when you're talking about feature specs between the G G16 and G18, what you can get with an AMD chip versus what you can get with the Intel chips, the Intel chips have Windows Hello. The Intel chips have liquid metal conductor. The Intel chips have vapor chamber cooling. The Intel chips can go to an RTX 5080 and 5090. The AMD doesn't have access to any of this. Like, who made the decisions about what was put in these laptops? And did they get paid by Intel to do this? Because it feels like it feels like they're shafting AMD on purpose here. That's honestly how it feels. Or the the, the other thing is, I, the way they try to justify it in their explanation to me was that the basically the product designer managers they think that they, there's not enough of a reason that gamers would want to get a Ryzen chip over an Intel because the performance is not going to be that big of a difference which may be true, but I think some people will just prefer to have Ryzen 
rather than Intel because of the power efficiency and other reasons. So I really, really want them to add a new SKU for the Ryzen 9 9955HX3D with an RTX 5090 with everything, all the bells and whistles, the windows hello, the vapor chamber cooling, the liquid metal conductor not, make a SCAR 18 top end spec with all of the best stuff for the SCAR 16 and SCAR 18, but make a Ryzen version of it instead. Like that is my advice to, to Asus, because that's what I would want to buy if I was buying one of these specs. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think the Intel chip is still gonna be a great laptop, but if you want the best, you might not be able to buy the best with Asus this year. So, I mean, we gotta wait for benchmarks to find out, but I'm thinking the Ryzen 59, the Ryzen 9 99 55HX 3D is gonna be the best gaming chip on the market. And it might be a significant lead to them, like 10 to 15% over Intel, but maybe it won't be. We'll see. That's just my current prediction, probably at least a 10% lead for the Ryzen chip over Intel. At least for just pure gaming performance. Anyway, those are my thoughts right now, currently on the G18 and how basically AMD got shafted. And AMD fans out there are being shafted right now by these product design choices. And I just really want them to make better options for people who are fans of AMD. Um, and which I think AMD's fan base is growing, right? Like there's a big growth right now for AMD fans because they can see how it's more power efficient and how you can get better battery life and how it doesn't produce as much heat. It might get hot, but it doesn't overall use as much uh, electricity, so it doesn't produce as much heat because it's a lower total TDP compared to a 150 watt Core Ultra 9 chip or something, you know? Like, like, like the Ryzen chips only use up to about 120 watts peak at most, maybe 100. So realistically, I really, really want Ryzen chips paired with the 5090 in laptops this year, and I'm gonna push companies, anytime I talk to them, I'm gonna push them to offer top spec for 5090 and for Ryzen 9955HX3D in the same laptop. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we got the Zephyrus G16, and there's a G14 he's holding right there. We're gonna be reviewing those next. More hands-on videos coming very soon. See you in the next one. Brandon, out.